Welcome back. Flew too close to the sun like Achilles. Who you, did you just killed Lee's? <sighs> careful, Icarus. Be careful with that nail gun, Jesus. <laughs> did you ever see? Did you ever see that um, like running gag on Craig Ferguson's show? Where after Jeff Peterson, the robot, got a Twitter account, he kept tweeting stuff like that was all about, hey, I'm so awesome and everything. And this one guy responded back to him and just said, careful, Icarus. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, they just couldn't stop talking about that on the show. D no, I haven't seen it. It's great. Christ, I've only got two lives left. This is serious. This is serious business. I'm beating you in points, by the way. Eh, not for long. Not for long, baby! Not for long! <laughs> I keep, I, I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I keep trying to end this. <laughs> but I've started another episode! <laughs> oh! Had a good run. Mainly because I'm concerned about the frame right now, it seems to be okay. Yeah. Not right. sure how it's gonna look. This Not might, sure if any of this is gonna be useful. This might be unwatchable garbage. <laughs> uh, oh, I cry. <laughs> we'll release it as a podcast. <laughs> With just like still images of Robotron 64. Yeah. It'll be like a Brad Neely cartoon. <laughs> that was a mine. Shoot the magic hulk! I'm getting really hungry. <laughs> Will Dustin ever eat anything again? Find out right now. <laughs> the answer is yes, because I'm gonna order a pizza. Do you want a pizza? Uh, no, I'm okay, I have food at home. I do have food here, but that requires cooking. I What I do is I make a big curry, and then I, I, I <laughs> portion it out, and then I freeze half of it. So then... what you're saying is you're my mom. You're my fucking mother. Does she make curries? She make that's how she does all her food. Yeah. She'll make huge batches of it and yeah. freeze a lot of it and then she's yeah. done cooking for like a month. Yeah, it's great. <sighs> it's great. Come on. I'm sorry. You just pull something out of the you got a homemade meal in the freezer. <sighs> Come on! Maybe I'll make a stir fry. Stir fries are good. I do enjoy stir fries and I have that you can't freeze. Uh, yeah, I know. Well, I don't know. You well, can freeze the ingredients to it. Like, you can freeze the vegetables and you can freeze the meat. Yeah, but I mean, it's all about stirring it in, in the pan and frying it. I guess. Oh, I have I have all the ingredients. And I have, I have chicken. I have veggies. And I have stir-fry sauce. And... And I even have those like microwavable bowls what's of rice. What's that door? What's that? What's that cylinder? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. One of them spawned on a previous level, but it was right as it ended. Yeah. So. Oh shit! Is that a get out of jail free card? You warped forwards two levels. Fuck! I'm the best. I'm the best at this game. And what else I have is one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I shut up. I have one of the. Uh, I have to like take those, back the game. Those microwavable bowls of rice. Wait. What? 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 Mike? You said that like I knew what they were. What microwavable bowls of rice? Are you telling me you don't understand? You don't know the genius of what these things are? Is there like two plastic bowls of rice? And you put it, in, you pop, you like pop the top and you put it in the microwave for like four minutes and it's like perfectly cooked rice. That's all it is because it doesn't even matter if you're making instant rice. Do you know how long it takes to make rice? It takes an un, unnatural amount of time to make rice. Oh, no, you just, you get a rice cooker. Fuck <laughs> those. You, Why would I buy them? Okay. Rice cookers are terrific. I... I ascribed the Alton Brown notion of no fucking, like, 
fucking machines in my kitchen that have one use. Wait a wait a damn minute! You could cook anything in a rice cooker. So How am I alive? <laughs> Soups, pastas. You could make chili in a rice cooker. You could do whatever you want. I don't want to do that though. It's a perfect little pot. I have actual pots, but this one that I can put on the stove. It doesn't burn anything because it switches off if it gets too oh, hot. <laughs> I didn't realize we were buying appliances that were designed to answer for your incompetence. It's less than twenty dollars. Perfect rice every time. You just set it and forget it. Or I could uh, perfect rice every time in a little microwavable bowl. You have to buy. Wait, is it a bowl that comes with rice in it? Yeah, it's just like and it's yeah. Like, you're you're spending way too much money on that. You buy a big sack of jasmine rice. It's oh, like fuck fifteen dollars. I'm not going up to fucking Walmart. All the fucking way up to Walmart to buy a fucking giant bag of rice and then hull it all the way home on it's the bus. It's an investment. You piece of garbage. Take a cab. You'll still come out ahead on Are the money. Are you joking? You know how much a cab costs up to Uptown? It's Go like to Thrifty's. $25. Go to a grocery Thrifties store. Thrifty's is far away too. Whether we're talking Hillside or whether we're talking James Bay, I still have to get on a bus and go an unreasonable amount of time. Get your thrifty groceries delivered on a Saturday for $10. Get everything you need $10? for $10? It's $50 minimum to get a delivery from thrifty. Get everything you need! I don't normally shop at thrifties. Get some sale items! No. I have microwavable rice that's ready faster than your rice. You get a bigger batch of it in the rice cooker. It's warm. It keeps. I'm the, lightheaded now. It keeps the rice warm after it's finished cooking it. Hey, you made it to the octagon. You bet I. God. <laughs> Why did you distract me? Lights out, everybody. This is the. This is it. I can't do this anymore. I wanted to play something else. Well, we're never going to play something else again. Past you in points, by the way. <sighs> Past you in levels and you never got back, by the way. There's a warp. What opens the warp? We already determined that. No, it we skipped didn't. me ahead. Yeah, but what opens it? How do you make it show up? Oh, I think, it's just, I think it's just random. But it seems to happen usually at the end of a level. Well, no, I think it's just random. Maybe one and of so the guys. Far, so far, our randomness has just been causing it to. One of the men, maybe. If you shoot it, it opens a door. One of the men. Fear yeah. and pain. Fear and pain. <gasps> <gasps> Get out of here. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm gonna beat you so hard. Shoot five levels. Oh my god. God, man. Shoot the deflectors. It said shoot the deflectors. I don't know what they are. That's what they are? You idiot. They're not oh. bombs. Well, they will kill you if you touch them. Yeah. Probably because you walk right into them while you're shooting, and then you end up shooting yourself. Maybe it deflects you into different pieces and just <gasps> fires you. Shoot the deflectors. Well, that's a helpful hint that we could have learned. <sighs> Ten waves ago. I'm not going to get upset. Look at this light show. Alright. White keeps telling me to play Link to the Past on here. Yeah, you should. Really? Oh, on our on our series? Well, on here, yeah, like on the channel. Uh, maybe I guess I don't know. Sure, why not? People like that game. No, not you and me, just me. Just you. Yeah, he keeps well, telling me that would be a good game for just me. I could provide moral support. Well, here, here's the thing. I think you should play that game. I think you should play a Zelda game. I have played about 45 minutes of Ocarina of Time. That's not enough time. That's I think it is. <laughs> I'm kind of done. <laughs> From the beginning, the first 45 minutes of the game, and I got in. I got to the next village. Did you get a sword at any point in this? I don't remember. 
Oh. But, uh... I'm looking forward to... You can play that DS one, the, the uh, 3DS one. That's a good introduction to the series. Uh, what's it called again? It's A Link Between Worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it I, is a spiritual sequel to Link to the Past. I know. And it does have some good in-joke in references. Yeah, I know. I, I do actually want to play that. But each dungeon basically only uses one item, so it's kind of a good introduction to the Zelda formula. Uh, I, I know. I've been wanting to play that one. It's good. Jesus, fuck. It's got a good uh, story, too. Not too much of What, did you already beat it? Yeah, I beat it a year ago. Well, who knew? I beat it, oh, like, over the Christmas break. Like, I played nothing else while that while I had that game. It's a good game. Uh, took me about, uh, you know, 12, 14 hours. It's a good game. It's solid. It's a solid game. Beating you in score, baby. Well. I don't know how, by the way. I don't think we're playing any differently from each other. Not really. I think you got lucky on some portion. Yes, that's what it was. It was luck consistently beating you at all turns. No, you're, you've you've gotten to a certain point in the score and, <laughs> and you've leveled off. You are not continuing to get beyond me. So don't even fucking try with me, you piece of garbage. So, we, we, uh, are we going to talk about the Oscar snubs, the snubs and flubs? Let's do it. Jake Gyllenhaal. The Lego fucking movie. Total snub, total flub. Yeah, I agree. Gyllenhaal should have beat, should have gotten instead of Cooper. Cooper? Oh, Bradley Cooper. I thought Chris Cooper again. I still think Bradley Cooper's best performance is in American Hustle. <laughs> yeah, um, he's great in that. I just rewatched great, that great, last great night. Great comedic performance. Yeah, really funny. Um, I just rewatched that last night, and God, Louis C.K. is it's every bit as good as I remember him being. <laughs> he's just such a like a meek man who's just trying to do his job. I'm glad that movie didn't win Best Picture, yeah. so that we don't have to look back on it and think, oh, it's a good movie, but Best Picture? Instead, we can look back on it and think, yeah, good movie, nominated for Best Picture, why not? Yeah, yeah, I, I really, great. I really dig dig that movie. I dig it, man. It was one oh. of my it was one of my favorites of the year, actually. Oh, calm down. Ah. Ah. Sorry, I'm. Oh, there's this this great oh. oh. There's this great moment where uh, CK is giving his statement after Bradley Cooper beats the shit out of him, <laughs> <laughs> and and, uh, and Bradley Cooper is just sitting in the background on a couch, like all splayed out. And then he finally gets up and sits at the desk with him. <laughs> Cooper, or CK just kind of like backs away. Yeah. <laughs> and Cooper's just like, it's all right, it's okay. <laughs> and, then he, and then he's like, uh, he, he, I, I actually like look up to you and respect you more than anybody else. <laughs> he's a nice guy. We're just different. We're different. He ice fishes. Yeah. In, he, he does ice fishing in Michigan. And CK's just like, that was told to you in confidence. <laughs> Yeah, I love that because Louis C.K. is just enough of a of an actor. He has just enough talent. Yeah, I know that you can see when he reacts. He's like, the gears are still turning a little bit in his head. <laughs> ah. uh. Well, uh, join us on the next episode, I guess. Fuck, God. <laughs>